Hey, TVs. This is Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be with you. Well, here we are. It's Zodiac Thursday, and I'm so excited to be with you. You know, this morning I got up and I was putting on my jewelry, and I found this pendant that I recently got. I got so much jewelry, I shouldn't buy another thing, but I love it. This is known as the, the Fairy Star, or the Star of the Fae, or the Elven Star. This is made of pewter. It's a seven-pointed star, and uh, it's oftentimes worn by Wiccans who work with the Fae, the fairies. And, uh, you know, I have great belief in the Fae, so I had to have this somewhere in my seven-pointed star. And it got me thinking about the stars above, you know the rays of light that they emit and how they influence us. You know, astrology is so mystical because astrology says that there is order to the universe, that the planets and the stars have a pattern, that they, in a sense, share a consciousness and bring a message to the earth. I think that's really true. I really do, you know. And, uh, you know, today I was here and I was looking at uh, the Zodiac chart. By the way, I forgot to put the Zodiac wheel up here. It's not Zodiac Thursday without the Zodiac wheel. Here's your Zodiac wheel. There you go. Now it's officially Zodiac Thursday. And I was looking at the, the you know, the star charts today and... You know, we have a very interesting day here. Um, our moon today is in the sign of Pisces. And I like Pisces. Pisces is a water sign, and it's ruled by Neptune. And I thought I'd tell you a little bit about Pisces. Um, for those of you um, who are new here, this is a chart we oftentimes follow in Zodiac Thursday. It's called when the moon is in and you can pick this up over at rare wicca spells i'll put the link below rarewiccaspells.com lady angela uh who runs that store and is also a good friend of mine and high priestess of the order of the purple cord sells this it's a two-page chart that covers all 12 zodiac signs and gives information about how to work with the lunar transits so today our moon is in the sign of Pisces. Now, when the moon is in sign of Pisces, the theme of the day is empathy and otherworldliness, okay? So you're gonna be very drawn to the psychic today, okay? Now, what is it that you should seek out when the moon is in Pisces? Well, according to Lady Angela's chart, you should be open to compassion, and the muse that means creativity be you're going to be more sensitive you should be open to retreat time meditating dancing praying music and poetry see this is a wonderful time to let your creative self come out to work with the arts to work with music to work with spirituality okay um and you should be open to baths and charity. See, a lot of that's a wisdom and compassion, the charity. And baths, definitely, you know, uh, that's water energy there, okay? Now, what do you want to avoid when the moon is in Pisces? Well, you want to avoid, according to our chart here, indiscriminate merging, overwhelming communal activities, Okay, so what that means is don't get yourself into a big group event that you're not comfortable with. It may be more of a solitary time. See, because Neptune, the planet, rules the sign. Neptune is more inner focused, okay? Uh, you also want to avoid one dimensional, purely rational thinking. And what that means is, you know, if you get all hung up on the logical side of everything, you're going to miss the intuitive psychic side. And today's much more a day for psychic focus, okay? Now, let me give you some of the other alignments today that are also impacting us. So we know that our moon today, and it's uh, the 13th, is in Pisces. Um, 
We've got the moon, of course, aspecting Neptune, which again heightens that Piscean energy. Um, so that means that your psychic senses are going to be heightened today, okay? So you've got the moon in a very psychic sign, and the moon also aspecting the rolling planet that is also a very psychic planet. Really powerful. So you really can trust that inner voice today, okay? And looking at the other aspects, I think you'd do well to, to focus on the inner voice. And um, just so you know, the moon is sextile Mars, uh, and the moon is square Saturn. Now, the moon sextile Mars, sextile is a positive aspect, so Mars is fire energy. Mars sometimes has a tendency to bring people up into an aggressive stance. So this is also... Um, but it's not always aggressive. In this case, because it's favored by the moon, this means your inner inspiration, your fire, the fire energy of Mars will be a factor. So your inner inspirations are powerful. Okay. Now the moon is square Saturn and Saturn is what I call the breaks of the zodiac. Uh, so this also means that Saturn organizes regulating schedules and structure. So with a, a negative opposition, a negative um, aspect, because that square is a negative aspect of the planet, this means that schedules will be awry today. It may not be a good day to try to organize group events. And isn't it interesting that our other chart said that you should avoid, you know, indiscriminate group events and just kind of large scale gatherings. So definitely a day to spend more in solitude, more in inner reflection. OK, all right. Um, we've got our moon, which is sextile Neptune. Uh, excuse me, Pluto. The moon is sextile Pluto as well. What that means, that, that brings up the favorable aspect of Pluto. And Pluto deals with our long-term vision, our goals. So today is an excellent day to think on prophetic things, prophecies. What does the next five years hold? What does the next ten years hold? Um, this is also a good day to focus on career, not so much outer world, like trying to get a new career, but more like planning, planning where you want to be in the next few years. You know, where do you see your career going? And if you can put the focus today on that, the energy psychically is present to give you the vision for that. And with that Mars aspect of today, that means you'll have a lot of inspiration. So this is an excellent day for inner work. Excellent day for inner work. Now we've got Mercury square Mars and that's a bit of a caution. That means be very careful with your words today because um, whenever a planet again is square another planet that means they kind of do battle. So Mercury is all about communication and Mars is a kind of a fiery planet. So it means that your words you've got to be careful because they could be misinterpreted, could be combative. Um, and so try to avoid arguments with people today. If people come in, they're trying to be all full of themselves and boisterous and blusterous, just kind of retreat, okay? Because you'll have a better time. There's no point trying to get in an argument because really anybody today trying to start stuff is just a fool. You know, really they are. Uh, but we spiritual people, you know, we study the stars. And you, all of you here at Spirit Channel, are wise people. You wouldn't be part of my channel if you didn't have wisdom or were drawn to wisdom. So, you know, today you've got the planets working for your power. So an excellent day for staying within, a little more retreat time, inner focus, long-term planning and prophetic and psychic visions, okay? So, you know, it's a good day, for example, to do automatic writing as a form of channeling because the spirit will write through you. You'll have that link. You'll get prophecies. Very powerful, okay? Well, guys, listen, there are our aspects today. I'm going to keep it short. Psychic Bob has a very busy day. Uh, I want to say thank you to all you've been calling for readings. I still have openings for readings for the weekend. Uh, so if you want to get on my schedule, I can do a phone reading or Skype. Uh, my number is, um, call my office at 571-483-2112. Or you can write to me an email at readings at robert 
hickman.com. Again, the links for both of these will be below. Okay. Well, guys, listen, you rock. I love you. Sending you blessings. And I wish you a blessed, happy Zodiac Thursday. And if you get a chance, pop over to Lady Angela's sign and pick up your copy of When the Moon is In. You won't regret it. You'll love it. And if you get a chance, if you didn't see yesterday's video, definitely check that out. We had a reading from my book, my newest book, Psychic Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom. And we'll be having more on this coming in the next few days. So, you know, check it out. Uh, go to my website, robert-hickman.com. And we have a bookstore tab at the top of the page. And you can look at this book over there and purchase it if you like, as well as my other books. I have a number of books out. But this is my recent book, okay, most recent. Well, guys, listen, thank you for being here. I love you. Blessings to you. And I hope you have a happy Zodiac Thursday. Blessed be.